I, I rarely get surprised with a confidence number. This one's surprising. Uh, our July read on consumer confidence from the conference board expected to be 125. Yeah, add more than 10, 135.7. That is, uh, you have to go all the way back to November last year when it was 136.4. And the month before that, actually, October was 137.9. And that was the best since September of 2000. So this is a really dramatic jump on consumer confidence. And you see it on every metric. Present situation leaped from 162.6 to 170.9 uh, expectations. What's ahead uh, from 94.1 to a current read of 112.2. Uh, these are humongous. And by the way, late revisions coming in. 121.5 from June last month gets upgraded to 124.3. So these are big revisions. Now, on pending home sales for June, we're going to turn to Diana Olick. Diana? Rick, a nice beat. Pending home sales up 2.8% in June compared with May and were 1.6% higher annually. That finally breaks a losing streak on the year-over-year. -year. Sales had been lower for 17 straight months, all, of course, according to the National Association of Realtors. Now, pending home sales measure signed contracts to buy existing homes, so they're an indicator of closed sales one to two months out. Clearly, lower mortgage rates are helping. The average rate on the 30-year fix stood at 4.29% on May 1st and ended June at 3.81%, according to Mortgage News Daily. That had to help with affordability, but prices are still high. Now, regionally, sales were higher across the nation in June compared with May and higher annually everywhere. But in the West, they were most strong. That's where prices have been moderating as well.